guys welcome back to my channel my name is cindy today i'm gonna be doing the clean girl makeup and as you can see my skin is dehydrated and it's dry and it lacks moisture so next i'm gonna spray my face using the rose water from guni effect to bring back the moisture on my face allow that to sit in and next i'm gonna moisturize my lip because my lip is also dry i'm gonna go in with the serum from dr rachel which contains vitamin c i'm also going to work that in on my face to bring back some moisture And next, I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer from Miss Metics. Apply that on my face as well. I'm also going to go in with the rose oil from Milani Cosmetics. This is a good face oil for oily skin. To prevent my skin from producing so much oil and from sweating, I'm going to use the Udiron Oil Blocking Mattifier on my face and also going to spray my face using the e.l.f. illuminating primer mist as primer for today and next i'm also going to go in with the hydra glow from so pro cosmetics and let that to seek in make sure everything sits in next i'm going to go in with the clinic foundation this foundation is almost like skin and i love it it's, it's also for oily skin and for dry skin i have a review up on my channel i'm gonna go in with a clean flat brush you to make sure that your brush is clean or whatever tool you're using to apply your foundation is clean next i'm gonna blend that in and make sure that the foundation blends all in into my skin next i'm gonna use the concealer from too faced the multi scoping concealer i love this concealer so much i'm gonna apply that on the areas or in the areas where i want like light to heat and i'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender to blend in the concealer make sure you blend in from the edges I'm not gonna go in depth with the highlight, but if you want to see an in depth tutorial on how to highlight and contour, do let me know in the comment section. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Nuban Beauty in my skin concealer for contour. You can also go in with a bronzer to warm up your face. That would also give you a more natural look so and blend that right in using the contour brush blending that in the pattern motion do not swipe pat it into your skin and make sure to blend it all in Next, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Blender to blend in the edges just to make sure there is no harsh line. When I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with the Taylor Cosmetics Cosmetics Highlight and Blush Palette. So I'm going to take this blush, darkest shade of the blush. I love that blush so much because it, it can also serve as a bronzer. I'm going to use that as my blush and add back some bronzy look feel effect on my face <laughs> i'm also gonna go in to blend that right in to apply it on my forehead and other parts of my face and next i'm gonna go in with another concealer from the l'oreal paris Bibun. watching my tutorials you know i love using two concealers to highlight and when i'm done doing that i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty powder hold up while i was blending i was using this powder i didn't know my phone had stopped recording 
again so i had to go back in to reapply the the powder after i'm done applying it i had to go back to reapply because my phone has stopped recording so i'm gonna go in with the le girl palette powder palette to apply my contour and also my blush from milani I love this blush so much i'm gonna apply my blush over the cream blush that we just applied for my brow i'm gonna go in with the younger beauty brow lotion brow pencil this is given i love how this makes my brow feel and i'm just gonna fill in my brow I'm about to give it a more natural look because the brow pencil is doing it for me if you don't have yours go get it going with a cover girl concealer to define my brow i love using the cover girl concealer it is second to none that that's a holy girl concealer if you know you know for my eyeshadow primer today i'm gonna use the p louise remote base in 04 next to set my under eye to catch out the fallout of the eyeshadow i'm gonna go in with the juvia's place i am magic magic setting powder in sahara to catch out the fallout next for eyeshadow today i'm also gonna go in with the focalo endless possibilities palette apply my transition shade and for the darkest shade i went in with the mood beauty palette to apply my eyeshadow for the darkest shade I'm also going to be using a brown eyeliner from Focalo. This is a gel eyeliner. My mascara is from Clinique High Length Mascara. I think this mascara is discontinued. I went off camera to apply my lash, my falsies, and my lower lashes as well. To dust off the excess powder underneath my eye, I'm going to use the Maybelline Super Stay Powder Foundation. And next, I'm going to go in with the MAC Fix Plus to spray on my face. To line my lip, I'm going to use the Elsa's Pro Lip contour in chestnut and next i'm gonna go in with the with the zikel and brega lip glaze i'm using two shades for my lip uh, i want to have that glossy lip and this is a perfect glossy bronzy lip glaze or lip gloss and next i'm gonna go in with the highlight from Alo by chloe to apply the highlight on the areas where i want the highlight to hit to set for the final look i'm gonna go in with the black opal oil blocking powder you guys know that this powder is everything and there is no look without going in with the blossom powder to prevent oil so i'm gonna use this all over my face and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know if the comment section down below if you love this look and if you're gonna be trying it leave a comment in the comment section down below and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please hit the red subscribe button down below and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>